and welcome back to my channel. Here's some news I was not expecting to be reporting on this week. Trisha Paytas has a documentary coming out. Yes, I'm part of filming a documentary and um, let's talk about it. Indeed, let's talk about it. This is not the reality show that Trisha will be working on as she says filming for that is next week. But how all of this came to be, you might be asking. Well, a man named Mike Klum involved with a production company based out of Ohio reached out to Trisha in January and said that he wanted to film a documentary with her. Trisha says that she normally ignores emails and especially people that reach out like if there's no pay as she says that she's just too busy. But alas, something about this piqued her interest and she says she leads with what her vibe is so she accepted. And to be clear, she apparently is not paying for this at all. He first approached me full transparency. He first approached me, I wanted to do like squash the beef type documentary, like confronting everyone. I've had beef with them. Like, that's just not the position I'm in right now. That's not in my headspace. I just- I don't know about you guys, but I would be here for this kind of documentary to be honest. You know, I've apologized to people. I need to apologize. I accept they don't. You know, I'm multiple. Like there's like tons of beef I have over like addressing drama and I'm like, it's just not really into like going into past drama. Trisha says, as she has many times, that her life is actually pretty boring. The life that she has created online is the most interesting version of herself, and even that isn't all that interesting, she says. So she really wasn't sure what direction this documentary could have. I have a infant daughter that I'm super just like obsessed with and in love with and just love being a mom. You know, also, also just like saving money, just not spending crazy and not doing crazy music videos or treat like, you know, lavish trips and stuff like that. Like I'm really just um, in my boring era. Not to point out an inconsistent consistency this early on in the video but i mean trisha you spend money literally every day i don't know if this is the most honest thing to say but as for not doing lavish trips, I guess she doesn't really anymore, at least not what we see on the internet. And let's face it, she does share just about everything she does with us online, so I think we would see if she was going anywhere these days. But let's get to the documentary. It is about Reddit. Reddit, these anti-fandoms. Mine is harassment. I don't care what anyone says as far as like, oh, she's guessing our audience. We never talk about her daughter. We never docs us. We have Google Docs, a whole Google Drive. You guys remember all that stuff with the original Trishy Land subreddit and now the backup new version Trishy Land wifeys? Things got kind of crazy there for a while with the reviews and Trisha was freaking out about alleged revenge porn and all that. Well, the subreddit is still going strong with posts just about daily calling out her inconsistencies and behaviors that are deemed awful every little thing that like way more than i could ever imagine just like the nasty bullying and um body shaming and just harassment and doxing where we live and schools and doctors and plans and what they were doing and every time i do a sponsor they'd be like okay let's go attack this company she says that subreddit posts ugly things about her past that have happened but then she reckons that they make things up fully from thin air and then that becomes quote fact trisha also says that even though she has tried at length to get the subreddit shut down another just pops up in place these people are dedicated there has to be something illegal about this right like not only are you doxing harassing you know all this bullying posting my minor daughter even if you blur face sometimes they don't blur face posting literally they posted by nudes my you know stuff that, that's behind a paywall that i will have to correct her here and say that i know for a fact it is a really strict rule on the subreddit that you may not post malibu without her face blurred also anytime that the baby is mentioned it's always in correlation to something that the subreddit is pointing out on trisha's behalf for example not supporting Supporting her head in the past, not clipping her into the car seat, etc. Also, as for it being illegal, unfortunately, this is just the true nature of the internet, and Trisha must know this better than anyone. If online bullying or trolling was illegal, surely Trisha would have met some form of legal repercussions in the past, right? It's not as if she's innocent of these things herself. I do want to mention as well that just because content is behind a paywall, it actually doesn't protect it from being shared. Now copyright rules and laws still do apply, like you can't just copy and paste someone's entire article and share it as if it's your own, and you also cannot take someone's entire video and reshare that either. Pictures are kind of an iffy one, but for the most part, if you are sharing a picture online, you're sharing it online, and that's kind of just the way it is. You can reach out to legal help and see about getting a cease and desist warning sent out, but for the most part, 
you can't unshare something online. It's in the public domain. But anyway, for the documentary, Trisha basically told this guy, Mike, that this was the only interesting sort of thing she had going on and it would actually be something that she would be interested in helping with from an investigative standpoint. So Mike took this and ran with it, even apparently posting on Reddit that he was looking for other people to be involved in the documentary. For me, the goal of this is like, how is some of this stuff legal? For me, I would like to talk to people posting on this Reddit and being like, why, what, one, why do you hate me so much? Why do you watch me if you hate me so much? You think I'm this horrible person. Like, what is your end goal? Like, I don't understand this. I think another thing that the subreddit is really gunning for, to be honest, is for Trisha to stop posting Malibu and basically stop using her for content. And that's one thing that the subreddit talks about that I am sort of on the side of. It's like, I guess, I guess what we've gathered so far is, you know, they just want me completely off the internet and to the extreme that they want Malibu taken away from me. Like literally that's what they want. For that topic specifically, that being having Malibu literally taken away from Moses and Trisha, I have seen some back and forth on that on the subreddit. Some say that it's necessary and that Trisha is a danger to the baby. And others say that it's an awful idea to even mention CPS or anything of that sort. And I have to say the thought of a child being taken away from someone because of a subreddit's opinion on them is really scary to me. And kind of regardless of what Trisha has done in the past, including the racism and the insensitivity to mental health disorders, online bullying, the list can go on and on and on. I think that it's clear that Malibu is in a loving home and much better off where she is rather than tossed into the American foster care system. Trisha just wants to speak to some of the people that post this stuff and get to the bottom of what is really going on as she thinks that she has figured out the truth behind these reddit users because the, at the end of the day most of these people are fans or as they consider themselves former fans but they're fans they watch everything right like if you really dislike someone or really didn't want to see anyone you would have them block. people have me blocked cool wifeys sound off in the comments are you really actually fans of trisha paytas don't lie i think we can all be honest on that even us here at the hot tea channel most of us probably at least started off as fans right and yeah at the end of the day her content is being clicked and viewed and if you are just hate watching you're still benefiting her in a way. So many people say, oh, look at all her victims. And I'm like, okay, what victims? Like, give me that list. Record our whole conversation. If, if we call, if we FaceTime, if we set up something, I'm so open and genuine and just throwing and everything out there that I'm just like, talk to me directly. You guys can sound off in the comments on this one as well. If you were in a one-on-one -on -one talk with Trisha and wanted to call her out directly for the things that she's done and the people that she has hurt, what would you say to her? I would have to ask her about the Hungarian Greek thing. I can either talk to them uh, uh, you know like point them towards an apology video make because i'm guarantee whatever issue you've had is like an apology video or just like completely like squash any absolute untruths out there that are like like just so out there trisha says it's one thing to comment and critique and a whole other thing entirely to make up or fantasize about things she says that she'll post a video of her playing with her daughter and all of a sudden it's being torn apart like, look, she's yelling at her and scaring Malibu. And for that, I have to quote this viewer who commented on Trisha's video saying, stop posting your daughter online. Her safety should be worth more than everything for you. I'm a woman who grew up online who knows other women who grew up online. Safety is everything. You owe her safety. She says that she has pulled back from posting Malibu and really mainly just posts pictures on Instagram these days. And to be honest, that's still just not all that safe. But Trisha fully calls out to anyone who wants to talk about this in person or over the phone and says, record everything if you want to. I'm open about this. This is not a trap. The email for the producer is available in the description of that video too. So she is seemingly very serious about this. This documentary won't just be about the subreddit and Trisha's hate, however, it will also include some inside looks at her personal life. So today we're talking about my addiction to food, my eating disorder, okay, Trish, which I don't shy away from. I'm just for that. I'm Trish, go ahead. That's my cue. <laughs> While filming this portion of the documentary, Trisha says that she feels like she's on Super Size Me or My 600 Pound Life and it's a little weird for her. She says that she doesn't shy away from talking about or filming this kind of stuff, but she's never really had someone else there before. So I'm like sitting here eating nuggets, I'm like, yeah, I have an eating addiction. <gasps> and yeah, because I do. But I'm also just really hungry. <laughs> So I'm eating for real. I'm sorry guys, a bit of a delayed trigger warning here, but how is the whale offensive? But this is not. Like, I have an eating addiction, but I'm also just hungry, tee hee hee. Granted, maybe the presence of these other cameras are just making her extra weird today, but this is just uncomfortable. I'm very much open about my eating disorder. I'm very much open about my addiction to food. 
because like it helps me to talk about it it helps me see it it helps me to talk to other people while it's great that this may be trisha's way of dealing with her ed and helps her work through it considering that she has such a large platform i find it really selfish that this is how she presents the issue to her followers who may be being negatively affected by this and he was asking me the question right like would you want to be skinny? You guys know the answer to that. I would want to be skinny if I could. And like, you're like, oh, wait, like, is that the next shot? Like, to me, that's like the only thing I could do to shock people because I lost 100 pounds, which I will. But I'm going to have like a couple babies first, so. And not to mention, having children should spark something in your mind in ways of being someone to look up to in a healthy way. But who am I to say, right? I'm going to do a mommy makeover. Tommy tuck. Like, well, <laughs> all that. But I want to look good too. I want to feel healthy. Or we could promote an actual healthy way of doing things, Trisha. Not everyone is able to just get elective cosmetic surgery when they're unhappy with their bodies. Also, didn't she just say in our last coverage of her that she is a body positive influencer? When I was pregnant, I really didn't crave fast food. So that's why I want to be pregnant again because I really didn't crave it like I do. Now I want soda and fast food. Not really the best reason to want to bring another child into the world, in my opinion. Trisha's future diet book is just gonna be like, step one, get pregnant. And you guys, I have no words for this next part. Oh, I'm trying to wait, sorry. Oh, you're good. Okay. Is she awkward? Is she loving this? I don't even know how I feel about any of this right now. Oh my god. I should put this on my OnlyFans. This is like a whole little like fetish thing. Just <laughs> camera my face is closed. <laughs> I guess that kind of answers my question, doesn't it? One of the comments left on this video says, this is probably the worst thing you could have ever signed up for. Mike Klum posted how this production company is looking for Reddit people to come forward. The way he described being over your house and what he called and said about you was just horrible. And for the life of me, guys, I cannot find the post that Mike Klum put on the subreddit asking people to reach out, but I'm thinking maybe it was removed as this came up on my research hunt. Someone posted, do not engage with this Mike person or trash <laughs> Just ignore any requests and watch the documentary flop. If no one participates in the so-called documentary, then it will flop. So let it flop and ignore her. If this Mike person wants any information, he can simply do his own research on the subreddit and mysterious videos. The end. So it seems that the majority of the subreddit wants no part of this documentary and a lot of people are saying that any wifey that does speak out is not speaking out on behalf of the subreddit, just on behalf of themselves as an individual. For now, we don't know exactly when this will be out or how it will all come together, but guess who's gonna be right there ready to report and spill all of the tea? That is going to be us. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the hot tea channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads and for now here is some well-deserved eye bleach